I'm going to show you something that every new R107 owner should do when they obtain one of these cars. I mean, every one. Because sometimes you will not believe what is lurking underneath this black cover. You will literally be shocked. Now, I'm looking at a 83 380SL, very clean, very nice car. We're going to pull this off and do an inspection. I've already pulled the screws out. And when you lift this off, you'll immediately see the heater blower motor assembly. And the first thing you want to do is grab this thing and pull on it. Just, you don't have to jerk on it a lot. But a lot of times these will crack and break and you'll get rattling in here. So this feels pretty good. The next thing you want to do is start looking for rust. That's correct. Even though you may think you have a rust-free car, because of the moisture up in here, you may have some rust starting to show. I've got just a little bit there, and we come over here to the other side. It's very light, but this is something you want to treat immediately. Don't leave this. So we're going to pull out the blower motor assembly, and we're going to take a real close look at what's residing down along the bottom edge of this blower. Anybody that's worked on one of these R107s back here in this area is going to laugh, say, good luck, Kent. You know, you can hardly get back in there. Your head keeps banging into the hood. If you're not careful, your head's going to bang into the grill shell. So the first thing I'm going to do before I start pulling out this blower motor is I'm going to install my R107 hood extender. We call it the head saver. And that'll raise the hood considerably more than it is now, so we'll be able to work in here much more easily. So I'm calling this new little gadget I came up with the R107 Head Saver. Because you can see when you're working down in here, you know, you're going to bang your head. Everybody has some experience of banging their head. So before I show you the installation of this, I want to give you a reference by showing you where the stop comes on the factory hood hinges. See that? I'm here. It's right at my eyebrows. Okay, keep that in mind. Now we're going to go about installing that head saver. <laughs> and we'll show you the difference. The extender is going to go right here. Okay, there it is. Now you want to see the difference. That only took a few minutes to install and look at the difference. Now I'm not going to hit my head. You remember at the beginning of this video, the hood, the top of the hood came to my eyebrows. And look at that. We've gone well over a foot, maybe up to 16 inches. And watch the clearance as I lean into the engine compartment to work on the engine and move my head back out. I've got to really work hard now to hit my head. I think what I'm going to show you here is going to demonstrate why this is such an important procedure for anyone owning an R107, even if it's a clean car like this. 380 SL I have here, but look, look along that edge. We started to scrape away some of the dirt, and we've got surface rust forming there. Can you imagine if you leave that neglected over a long period of time? But this is the big area you want to look at, is down in these corners, right down at the bottom where that heater blower motor assembly, that's where water collects and that's where you're going to get into some real rust problems. You may even get rust holes if you're not careful. So we're going to pull this seal out, and we're going to get down in here, and we're going to clean all this area up thoroughly, and then we're going to come back and treat these rust areas with Miracle Paint. It's taken about 30 minutes to come in here and scrape and vacuum and brush, get all the loose paint off and expose that surface rust. Fortunately, it's only surface rust, but... Boy, I'm sure glad I did this because you get down into this area right in here on the back side. It's really starting to rust. That's where the water goes. This is something you really want to check out. And we clean these corners. You can see the rust starting there. It's right by the body seams. That's what we're going to seal up. So I'm going to come in here and clean that rust surface with a little bit of acid. And then we'll coat the entire area with Miracle Paint. All right, take a look. We put on a coat of Miracle Paint, and then we had to wait a day, and then we put on a second coat of Miracle Paint, and that is sealed. We're not going to have to worry about that rusting. Now, some people want to get some red paint. You may have to use a brush to get up there and paint that if you really want it red, but I'm not going to be concerned about it because you're never going to see this once we get the cover back on. 
But this was the important area down in here, right in these corners. You know, you start getting rust out in this area, you're going to have water into the cabin of the car. So now we're going to take a close look at the heater blower motor assembly and we can put this thing back together. If you pull your blower motor assembly out, you, know, you want to take a really good look at it. These are prone to cracking in here and breaking these tabs and you'll get some rattling if that occurs. If you have a high mileage unit, you might want to consider replacing it. Aftermarket blower motors are not expensive, but this is only an 80,000 mile car. I'm not going to bother taking it apart and inspecting the brushes. It spins freely, there's no roughness, and it worked great before I removed it. I want to show you something here because I strongly recommend that you replace this cover. I've never seen a good cover on an old R107. They're all warped and bent. I wish I would have saved the one I pulled off. It had waves, you know, bulging out between the screw holes, and I know it was probably leaking water down through that lip. You know, they probably should have put a little bit bigger lip there. When the seal goes bad and this gets warped, you're going to have moisture leaking into this area, and you don't want that. This should be a tight seal. So I recommend you get a new seal and get a new cover, because look at how straight that is. And when you tighten it down, don't over tighten it. You don't want to put a bow back into it. And you don't want to crush the seal. So we're going to get the seal and the cover on there and we're done. And you can kind of rest in peace now knowing that you have killed the rust. Because remember, rust never sleeps. I should mention, if you get into this area where the heater blower motor is and you see rust down in there, considerable rust, then you want to pull these vents as well. You're going to probably find rust in down and behind these vents. Now these vents are held on by these three plastic clips. I do carry these clips on my website with instructions on how to get them off and get them back on. This is a very important inspection area as well. And when you're underneath here doing all this, I highly recommend that you replace this hood seal. It's not a hood pad, it's a hood seal. It's a very critical seal which is going to seal this edge along here from engine fumes leaving the engine compartment and leaking into the cabin area. So if you're driving your SL and you're smelling, you know, engine smells, it's very likely that this seal has all deteriorated. We sell these seals on my website with the correct glue to install them without pain and suffering.